I'm Victor, and you're watching Geeks Under Grace. Well, last week, as you may have heard, Japan-based company Fixstars announced a 13 terabyte solid state drive. In case you don't know what a solid state drive is, it's like a hard drive, but there's no moving parts, and it's faster and more reliable because of that. It's also smaller. This one, not so much because it's huge in both capacity and it's just plain. It's huge. On a sad note, Microsoft announced that they are going to be discontinuing support for their older operating systems like 7 and 8.1 and Intel's sixth generation Skylake processors. It's not just Intel's next generation processors, also AMD and Qualcomm's next generation processors. Now this is bad if you like the older operating systems but want to have the top of the line cutting edge hardware. You can't do that. Apparently, because of Microsoft's grand vision to unify all Windows devices under one operating system so that they can push out uniform updates, everything can work, be cross-compatible. Don't think that's going to happen. Sort of be cool to be able to play, you know, the games that they told us we could play on Xbox One and on Windows 10. On a happier note, Microsoft announced the new models of both their Surface Book and their Surface Pro 4. Both of these new models will feature 16 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of storage. Alongside these new models, Microsoft also unveiled an updated Surface Pin. Guess what the update is? It's gold. Why does that seem to be a technology trend? Perfectly good product and put gold on it. Yes, you have money. We all know you have money. Cool. Apparently the Samsung Galaxy S7 specs and benchmark scores have been leaked on the Chinese social media site Weibo. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I don't want to offend any Chinese people who use this website instead of Facebook if that's available in China. On the US version of this phone, you can expect to see a Snapdragon 820 processor, and in the international versions, an Exynos, I believe that's how you pronounce it, 8890 processor. The phone has four gigabytes of RAM, a 12 megapixel front camera, and a five megapixel rear camera, a 5.1 inch 1440p display, I believe is what it's supposed to have, I think. Do keep in mind that this is just a leak and these specs are, you know, probably not the actual specs, but hey, it's news. Well, thank you for watching. I'm Victor, and for more geeky content, make sure to check out geeksundergrace.com.